eyes of magnificent night. And bring to daylight the workings of innermost thought. the multiple inner voices and waking dreams which compose a silent personal life make up this film!
This demonstration does not in any case correspond to reality. It is simply the aesthetic representation of a stream of consciousness. A private inner dialogue is thus brought into the open and made public. Pictures of untouched dream, long hemmed in a dwelling of shadow, are brought into aesthetic relief on the screen. Similarly traced are the voices, the music, and the silences. The audience should not look to a comprehension by logic of the scenario, the sound, or the pictures, but rather to a general emotion which gives meaning to the unrecognized beauty of innermost thought. We focused at random on this man in a crowd, which isn't true. He was one of our friends long before we met the crowd. We set him apart in order to put 60 minutes of his inner life into this film. Outwardly, the man is strolling along a beach on the French Riviera, this location having, as you may guess, no importance whatever. A camera enters the man's mind and registers. Obviously then, these 60 minutes cannot develop any sort of plot. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to see, you are about to see, you are about to see, you are about, you are about. Well, how about buying a newspaper? You're kidding. Ten cents, ten cents a paper, a nickel before the war, ten cents. Is that expensive? Maybe not. Plenty of paper. Can use it for wrapping up, or it's rough. What time is it? Da 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 ten o'clock. God save us time, how the time does fly. Who time to steal a beat time, by God? Because God don't take time. Uh-oh. God don't like it. Hmm. That old club to jazz piece. How long ago? Maybe two years. Maybe three, maybe. maybe, maybe, or not, maybe. Then as the clown in the jazz club show always said, lifting his glass, jazz beer. Maybe, 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 maybe. 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 maybe.
Hume. A girl with dream eyes. Ah, I can think a girl with dream eyes. Could I write it? Possibly. Write it then. A girl with dream eyes who plays the Ave Maria. Hurdy Gurdy, pretty Gurdy is dead. From a solo, sola, solarization. Ah, you see, ladies, this girl didn't use gold. Ice cream, lemon drops, the candy counter in the lobby. Ice cream, lemon drops, the candy counter in the lobby. Ice cream, lemon drops, the candy counter in the lobby. Sour, white like yogurt, as they say. Maidens with yogurt complexions. Maidens are definitely not white yogurt. Ah? Uh? No. Ah? Uh? No. They're rosy rose complexion, like a virgin's nighty. But then, do I confound a maiden with the queen of all the roses? What, I pray, is the difference? The bush of your rose queen has thorns that stick. Which means to say she is still a maiden only by popular acclaim. May I not then suffer myself to affirm that maidens are not indeed white yogurt, but grey yogurt, that is to say, yogurt which has matured. Maidens with yogurt complexions. Was she a virgin? Can't tell. So quickly done. So long ago. But her face remains. Infinite fires of a dead star. Who could pretend that he hadn't longed for that shooting star, an evanescent firework? Ah, memories. Uh, Skeleton in a proper family's closet. Look at that billboard. Join the army! Clean up and dog faces. I remember two pictures. What 
Christ's glory. All quiet on the Western Front. So many men died. Frenchmen. Germans. Same ones. Same ones as in Western and gangster movies. The same? Yes, the same. Every man dead is equal to every other dead man. Only the living know how to classify themselves. Life is the snobbery of death. The beggar's snobbery. Is it worth the soldier's honor? Sir, I shall never countenance your cannons trampling my feet planted in the sacred ground. Huh? But I was joking. I was only kidding. And yet this salutation from you? I'm obliged then, sir, to return your salutation. that bother me the most. A bomb can drop in on you mighty fast today. But aren't you frightened by all those dead? Not at all. I'd scare quicker at my own death than at a parade of cadavers from all the war. against that frame of mind. One of these days, I'll skewer the war dove on a sword of peace. Then the blood of war will weigh heavy, and the boredom of peace will be so ominous that only shrieking voices will be able to bolt up the black walls of fear of anguish or of charity. Man's hand will be sufficient then, and eyes will then of color be. But the suffering... Suffering? Nothing! Nothing? Nothing! Nothing! No amount of suffering could ever create a man. Man creates his own suffering. My feet hurt. Take a seat and sit thee, Corneille. What if I'd say to that girl, let's go make love just like that? Flabbergasted. You're not kidding. And besides, I hate the expression, make love, make tea. That's strictly from the Ladies' House Journal. 
with its very fashionable pretty boy, middle-sized, dark and handsome, mustachioed. Overrunning the streets, the cellars, the ground floors, and the mezzanines. I don't like the dark mustachioed type any better than the bald. Don't like baldies. Besides, it's the small, dark, mustachioed ones who become bald, fat, and rich. You say that because you're tall and blonde. Fair youth becomes pink, flaccid, bald man with a glassy-eyed stare. Someday you'll be that man. Never, never. War! Revolution! Betrayal of youth, the blinding of old age. bright-colored posters and the irregular beat of dipping, ascending, furious jazz. I love the eternal morning and the hollow red nights, the reverberating rainy streets. It's life that I love and I want to live, to live, to live and I want, I want, I want Shut up! If, yes, I'll tell her. Go up and say, bored, all alone? Oh, not that. No, if I'd say to her, don't I know you? She'd say, no, I'm afraid you don't. Then I'd say, ah, but certainly. And she'd say, well, I beg your pardon. Hmm, that won't go. I could try. Permit me to introduce myself. I'm... Oh, no, not that, never. And if I went up proudly, spoke rare and sublime phrases, like rose jewels never seen, words of blood in which love is ashamed, word cries that echo restlessly through time, Echoes of withered tomorrows. And if these never spoken words release the excitement and warmth of a holiday night. You've got a pretty handsome figure. I guess I would. Electric words like that are too alive. They overflow reality. They're not in a dictionary of love, Brummagem. Brummagem words of a good line. I hate the word line. The sly approach. Compromise. Cowardice. Cheating. Cheating is robbing yourself later on. someday forces you to despairing courage. Cowardice and cheating, two words that live by strangulation, but their life is in the image of death. For there's still the word line is beyond beautiful and ugly. It 
It's a wart that fingers discover on the breast of love. Now, love will no more be that unseen face. This girl is a shadow of summer's high noon. All the world's rain could not drown the disappointment in a man's heart now. Suddenly, as if through that girl, I sense the only way. A break. A vision shattered. An apparition, beautiful as a flamethrower's jet over dying bodies. Death is there so beautiful that the audience applause, as at a war picture. It is a war picture. A piece of film broken into another movie. A sequence as foreign as a cinder in the eye of love. Of the love of the girl, of the girl, of the love. Of the love of the girl, of the girl, of the love. This child who breaks off his hand to make a shovel has caught his foot in delicious enchantment. His laugh is so rare that only a cloud in angel form could embitter and stifle its tones. Beyond himself as beyond me lies the pink nightmare of the morning's awakening. is painful. Sublime is the cry. A cry is funny. the masses cry beneath the cry laughter is as disappointing as it is absurd
In a rubberized band. Stretch! The tourists go out for a stroll. Nationalists hunting beyond their own frontier. Assume disdain which this crowd on its guided tour so richly deserves. Perhaps 200 bucks to visit the Riviera. One year's saving for two weeks of postcards. Memories! Bah! Malarkey! I didn't say memories, I said postcards. Postcard. What's the difference? Isn't a memory just giddy reality shrunk down to the size of a postcard? But I'm not this crowd. It's stifling in these fumes of old age. I'm younger than 16 and I've wept from love, from love and from love. I'm here for your sake. For you, I've come through the filth of this crowd. But this night, before God, I'm here for you with a love beyond love. Love makes God powerless and accursed. So God becomes his own contradiction, the devil, the impotence of God. You know, that's why the devil only makes you smile. He's not evil, he's the absurdity of God. No girl could ever say those things. Only a man would identify himself with the being he desires, and in loving her, love himself. And the girl is then even more than he is. Young people say, the girl. Adults, the women. I love girls. My feet hurt. Not used to walking barefooted. Drag your feet barefoot on the street. Well, wouldn't you expect it? French speaking. Dub voices mean movies that sleep through the crisis of a laxative. I might even say... Uh-oh. Look at that guy. Going to cry on my shoulder. Beat it quick! If I scram, I'll look like a heel. Not to have seen him. Nonchalant air. Go down on the beach. Just be natural. No, might have known it. He's following me. What's he going to tell me? he going to think? Well, I don't give a hoot what he thinks. No, it's okay. Guess he didn't see me. 
Or maybe he's pretending not to. Wonder what he thinks of me. I wonder what people think of me. People? People? Which? Four billion or forty billion? No. Four billion. China. Four hundred million. Four billion then. Maybe only two and a half billion. Refer geography. Anyway, what if each person had to think out his separate opinion on me? No. There'd be groups of opinions, general traits. In detail, I'm as different from each as each from each. Four billion public opinions. Should write it down to think about it. Leave this beach. Wonder if they paid for this beach. Who would you buy a beach from? An ever so pretty little beach for men and dogs. There's a saw at work. While the crowd fries. On this ever so pretty little beach, a battleship Potemkin unloads its rotten meat. Ever so pretty little beach, like that meat covered with worms. These men and women are the lice of the beach. We're the battleship, we're the revolution. Where the bloody stairway? Where the tidal wave? That will restore this ever so pretty little beach to the enemy children. for this beach. Five hundred dollars. Fifty thousand dollars? I buy all. in the bank. Billions of francs. And English pounds. Cheers, Kate. 
can't bury us. Now a scream snaps the wind out of professional windbags. That's bad. Children, children, don't play with those matches. The boogeyman will get you. That's good. I hope you get burned in the acid of hate. That's bad. Everything that love does is beyond good and evil. Nietzsche made sons out of the stars he clung to. Love beyond good and evil. An insane love beyond all love. Insane love. I'd want a love that didn't begin with I love you, but which ended in alarm, like a girl naked and ravaged, but fair as a virgin, like a face by Modigliani. Black awakening crucified to the four cardinal laughs. Beautiful as a magnificent film that's never been made. God, how beautiful that love is. At the very best, that love is infantile. Beyond the infant, there is the embryo. But beyond yourself will puncture the lowering clouds of your vain hopes. to understand what I'm thinking. What am I thinking of? Embryo? Love? Beach? Feet? My feet hurt. Sit down. Why not? Why? Aching feet. Bothered. Think. If I wrote film, voices of film and pictures of sound, a film, what if I were to make a film, a film that would be my thought? My, my thoughts. thoughts. Subconscious. Subconscious. Conscious. The, the dream. The reality of my thoughts. A movie, movie that, that would, would affirm cinemata. Cinemati. Cinematographically. My inner voices. would affirm cinemata 
cinemati, cinematographically, my inner voices. Does each of us enact his future deeds in thinking them? You, 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 you. you. Only those haunted by insomnia would enjoy such a film. Films are made for us. Critics are professional onanists. Adventurers make the movies. The Mondays sing, jam up, and shock, and every thought's lost in silence, never regained. How much? All paid? How much? Quiet? How much? I, I, my dear. How much? Lots of money. How much? Maybe one, maybe two million. Plenty of money. Gone with the wind. Expensive paradox. Now, a short subject. I hear they run some hundreds of thousands. Maybe half a million. Firm will and friends and courage and money. A man is not an artist unless he has dreamed of stealing with impunity. A poet? Bah! I remember what Ernst von Solomon wrote, that to him nothing seemed more warranted than the mocking air of any hotel clerk when a guest presents himself as a poet without blushing for shame. Ah! A poet is something else, too. And a movie maker? Prestige around the women. Big producer gets high social standing. Poet and movie maker. Bah! Who am I? That is the question. I want to be eternally rich and handsome. No, you wouldn't want that. Forget about it. I'd like to have genius and love. No, you wouldn't want that. Forget about it. Wealth, beauty, love, genius. A man of large frame goes first. A little man follows.
preceding the man, big or small, the crier crying fire, the world crier, dire, entire desire, the desire. desires, the fortune of my desire, alchemist lead, blue gold of the black ram, iridescent figures in wax, implacably geometric, my desires, a bird's wasteland, hands like wind traces on infinite sand, war tools of invisible rainbow rays, my desires. The soul's wellspring desires like a star shadow song. A cry empties its substance in the sand of precious gold. A man of a hundred diamond-studded faces. A woman of vulture heart with an alcove secret. A child with dirty hands and an iron stare. A stone of patriarchal moss. A banner, faded, dead, my desire. A cry empties its substance in the sand. It's raining. Oh, 
blows aloud. Bird of good omen with a curse for the man who wants to look too close. It's enough wanting to see. It's enough to... But I didn't find anything and saw nothing but... No! 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 I never found anything! The memories of bargain basement poetry! Memories are the opium of a few sad nights. But even more, memories are this spaceless dawn without life, crushed by disappointed hopes. Memories are these grubby pictures, slipshod, dirty, torn, sickening pictures of mud and a drizzling Paris sky or a London fog. The same pictures, the same but lifeless. An embalmed corpse consumed in meditation on what he was. And here's that shock died away that is wanted again. again, again. Get rid of these hackneyed pictures, empty from here on, these memories! Again, 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 No! Memories! At the end of a film, the same pictures show up again, but not quite the same. This repetition brings the weariness which overcomes a spectator. Enough! Enough! Memories are these grubby pictures, slipshod, dirty, torn, sickening. Pictures of mud in a drizzling Paris sky or London fog. You couldn't love them again except by adding a son that was never there. A Florida son, but then the pictures would be so dazzling they'd take on the technicolor shades of serene banality. Dead colors. Brighter because they're dead, smeared onto life. Life drooling with colors out of tune under a drizzling Paris sky or a London fog. Memories, cult of worn out nations. Memories, no more room in our hearts because we're still too young to petrify and die! Memories are these grubby pictures, slipshod, dirty, torn, sickening, pictures of mud in a drizzling Paris sky or a London fog. Memories are these grubby pictures, slipshod, dirty, torn, sickening pictures of mud in a drizzling Paris sky or a London fog. And 
nothing remains, almost nothing, except a man who didn't reach his goal. A man obsessed with a pandering dead fish handshake. A man standing as stupid and empty as a memory. Nevertheless, the step confidently taken here began with an ambition, perhaps unrealized, surely not vain. No conclusion could put our hopes higher than they actually are. And it's not for us to deny what is actual. It could have been despair or love or illusion or dream or indifference that composed this man's stroll. It remains that I play the ace. I follow. We, we follow. follow. I trump. <laughs>